Fantasy Sports now bring away super middleweight contest. This bout scheduled for six rounds of boxing. Timekeeper ringside is Martin Fallon from Wolverhampton upon the sound of the bell. The scoring referee is Ian John Lewis from Donington, Kent. Boxing out of the blue corner. Scaling officially at 11 stones, 7 pounds, 8 ounces. Standing in the ring with five career victories. And tonight he wears the black shorts trimmed with gold. Boxing out of Islington, London. It's the Brown Eagle, Jordan Grana. And standing across the ring, boxing out of the red corner, stands his undefeated opponent. Officially his weight for this bout, 11 stone, 4 pounds, 4 ounces. 10 fights, 10 victories, including 6 finishing inside the scheduled distance, with 5 of his 6 stoppages going inside round 2. He wears the navy shorts trim with gold and boxes out of California, the United States of America via way of his native Monaghan Island. Introducing the silencer, the undefeated Aaron McKenna. Now shout break and break clean. And remember, defend yourselves at all times. Break this. For the first round. Another well, touch of Californian stardust here in Redditch, Aaron McKenna, who says that his goal, quite simply, is to be world champion and Ireland's greatest ever boxer. Up against Jordan Granham, a fighter who hasn't been stopped in a 79 fight pro career. But there is such a buzz of excitement about Aaron McKenna. We're looking forward, Richie, to seeing what he can do here against the teak tough opponent. Yeah, I like what I see as well. You see how he come charging out that out from his corner, get the centre of the ring, straight on the jab. Yeah, he looks um, he looks a class act to be quite honest. Working behind that punch, nice straight punches. This will be a, a test for him tonight because he's in against as you said Dave a teak tough opponent who hasn't been stopped so that should be um, that'll be the challenge for McKenna tonight to stop his opponent but yeah he started very well indeed yeah backed by Golden Boy promotion trained by Freddie Roach not able to train at the wild card at the moment been training in the ring in the back garden with his father Fergal who's their co-trainer in the USA lots of quality work and the first time that Aaron and his brother Stephen have, have boxed on the same card. It's great to have them both with us here. Now, this is a classy start, George. No, it really is. As Richie said, he came out um, through and landed some terrific jabs to establish you know, himself in the fight. Um, he hasn't taken a backward step. You know, um... He calls himself the silencer, Jordan Granham. Has proven in his career that he takes some silencing. But this is a tough ask for him already. Yeah, because in the end, Dave, what you'll have to do is try and pierce that, that guard and get through. If you look the way Granham's boxing, he's tucking up. He's, again, he's a boxer who's moving off on the back foot, so it's difficult to generate power if he's moving away. So it's going to be difficult to actually pierce that guard. So plenty of feints without getting too complacent. Because this is the type of contest when it can become a little bit too easy and you start taking too many risks and you can get caught with a shot. But yeah, it's very dominant up to now. It's one way traffic. He seems to have every punch in the book. Yeah, I like what I see. He's got five wins inside two rounds. Aaron McKenna says that he's the same in the last round as he is in the first. Come forward style. He's looking to the body now, looking to twist those shots and then follows it up with the uppercut. This is high quality stuff. Already a sense that Granham is just trying to survive in there. Great accuracy too from McKenna. Stella opening round from Aaron McKenna. We expected him to look good. He looks exceptional here. 
Punch perfect display in the opening round for McKenna. I think um, he showed he had a bit of everything in this round. The jabs, the straight right hands, the hooks to the body. A couple of nice uppercuts went in as well. So, yeah, it was a very, very dominant performance indeed. There's those two uppercuts right at the end of the round. George, I mean, they're, they're going to be pretty pleased in that corner, wouldn't you think? Well, yeah, it's, I mean, so far, spot on. I don't think he took a shot in the first round. Um, the task is to, to, to break the guy down in front of you. I don't know what you think about this, Richie, but... Maybe punch him in the arms a little bit. Bring them out, arms down. Give him a dead arm or two, you know, but you'd never see Second pros down. do that. And I think it's a fantastic two. idea. It's a legal shot. Yeah, I once had a great conversation with um, the, the late, great Joe Frazier, and he said that the way he used to wear some opponents now, and he used to hit them on the arms and the shoulders. And, you know, you don't see it these days, but some of the greats used to do it. Why not? That was some name drop. McKenna picks up where he left yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, the privilege of being with the great man there. Uh, two or three years before he passed away, he was a fantastic fella. McKenna might now have to, as always, I always say, vary the power. You know, like not every shot needs to go in too hard because um, he wants to open open up the arms by even just by touching through the middle, and then and and pick kick and that, that heavy shot that he wants to go in, that he wants to hurt the guy in front of him. Story here is all about McKenna, but Jordan Granham turned pro with some ambition. Five years ago, won gold at the Haringey Box Cup. Back-to-back -back novice titles was 28 and three as an amateur with Islington and Finchley ABCs, but he uh, struggled to sell tickets and forced really to fight on the road. and kept very busy box 27 times last year but none of those would have been as tough as this i don't think against aaron mckenna including a fight against sam eggington mckenna has been uh, outstanding here there are the shots that may just open ground them up a little bit those left hooks to the body if you can just find a point under the, the right elbow of Granham. there it is there look right on cue them are the ones that really hurt. Those body shots, George. I don't know about you, but I used to hate them. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, no one likes a body shot when they go in. At the moment, he's picking to go behind the elbow pretty consistently. Um, I want to see him squeeze one straight through the middle. Even if he has to pull or push the elbows apart, uh, the guard apart, and then fire a bent arm shot through the middle. You can bring it up as well. Just a bit more variety going downstairs. Tell you what, Jordan Granham will be very proud, rightly so, of that record of never having been stopped. But suddenly that sixth round looks quite a long way away here. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if McKenna can maintain this pace. Oh, there, that left hook to the body we spoke about. Two, three, Eventually, four, all of that work five, paid off. Six, seven, eight. He's only got 10 seconds to survive here. Another punch perfect display in this second round from Aaron McKenna. Granham, so tough fighting back. But can he last another four? It would seem at the moment like a bit of a long shot, Richie. Yes, very much so. Don't let him into it or get an opportunity. Don't switch up to remember. This was um, a perfect display here of power punching downstairs. There's that punch that we spoke about earlier. That left hook to the body, and it's found its way to the target. And uh, Granham, it just... Oh, look at that. George, that was a peach, wasn't it? Brilliant shot, brilliant shot. Um, I mean, you're in, you're in a fight, but it's still, like, the body's natural reaction is to fall back on the ropes. It's over. They called it off. They've seen enough. Joe Pennington in that corner. Doesn't want his man to take any more. And that makes a lot of sense because it was turning into, for all that Granham is tough, a one sided beating there. And Aaron McKenna makes it 11 and 0. Seven of those wins by way of uh, an early finish.
that was mightily impressive. And every time he turns up, I think he has tongues wagging, Richie. Yeah, I mean, that was a tremendous display from him, right from the opening bell, the way he ran out, as we said, grabbed the centre of the ring, worked behind his jab, powered the right hand in, looked downstairs with, with the variety with the left hooks, uppercuts went in, it was punch perfect. And that was always the challenge tonight, to stop a guy who had never been stopped in the losses that he had. And uh, yeah, that was a very, very impressive display. Power punching, but he just didn't, he just didn't do it um, in terms of erratically, did it behind his boxing. I thought it was measured, and yeah, I think he's uh, he's going to be a very good boy indeed, George. What do you think? No, definitely. I think there's a lot to like. You know, even even though maybe something he's picked up in the wild card gym. He, he, the posture in you know, before the battle started, he's raring to go, and then he's in the neutral corner, and. Um, He's waiting for the, the, the guy in front of him. If he's going to make it to his feet, he's rare and he's staring him down. He wants to get him. Well, let's get now to Paul. The end of round two is also the official end of this contest. Jordan Granham has retired injured. Therefore, the referee Ian John Lewis has stopped the contest. Your winner, still undefeated as a professional boxer, the silencer. Aaron McKenna! Well, you might know the name already. If you don't, make a note of it. Aaron McKenna is going places and fast as well. There's that body shot, the first one, the left hook hurt him and the right put him down. And in the end, he decided he'd had enough.